Right, hello folks, just going to show you a few uh, special golf balls I've just bought from somebody. Um, I've already got the, the green one is the most common one here in England. You also get occasionally these other coloured ones. This is a kind of an orangey colour, um, tailor made. That one's brown. I've already got a blue one. I've got either orange or brown, I can't remember, so I bought them anyway. Then I've got these vice, I think it's called drip, these balls with different colours. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm in an awkward position to, to film, but you, you get these ones with different colour speckles all over them. It's deliberately like that. That looks to be kind of blue and uh, mostly orangey speckles. Next one's got much more pink to it. As you can see, pink and black speckles. Next one looks to be green and black, kind of a luminous yellowy green and black. I think I've already got that one, but I wasn't sure. And then this one here, I don't think I've ever had this one before, yellow speckles and black. So that's four of those. I've also got these different ones. Does anybody know what logo this is? Um, try and zoom in as much as I can. Not sure what that's supposed to be, that logo. It's hard to tell. Does anybody know what this blue and red pattern is supposed to be? I don't think it says anywhere on the ball what that is. So if you can ID that, please let me know what that is. Next one, 777, and it's got Las Vegas. Oh, I can't get any bigger than that. Welcome to Las Vegas, Nevada. I presume it says it's so small I can't quite read it. But uh, red and blue, true viz ball. That's the first one I've ever had of that. I've got one of these blue and yellow balls. I've not, I don't think I've ever found a blue and yellow one like that before. There's other different color combinations you can find. This one here, does anybody know what this is? Someone holding what looks like a whip, sort of like an Indiana Jones scene. But uh, what is that? <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> must be dusty boxes I've got these out of. Pardon my French. Right, anyway, next. Anybody know what this is? LH 2023 on the ball as well. It's kind of, kind of blue and gold, I'd say. It looks to be LH to me. Don't know what that is. And then I've got some of these tailor-made special ones. They've got in on the mark of making golf balls with special logos on. What is that supposed to be? It kind of looks like a USA flag, but in a weird shape does anybody know what that one is called please let me know bacon and eggs one i've got myself i've already bought a packet of three of these um brand new that's a coffee cup so bacon and eggs even though i've got three brand new ones i thought i might as well get another one in case i ever come up to do some swaps with somebody uh this one i've never found myself this is the halloween one they came up with um yeah, very odd. Right, and then this is a good one. I think everybody knows what that is. You should know what that is without me saying it. I'm not sure whether that's a little bit of scuffed on his face or whether that's supposed to be. I think that's probably might be a little bit scuffed, but that's Winston Churchill. So why is Winston Churchill printed on a Pro Plus by Vice? Anybody knows if that's a company or anything, let me know. And then just a few more to show you. Um, I've got a vice yellow and orange ball. I don't think I've ever found one like that before. Uh, vice, what colour would you call that? Kind of a turquoisey colour. Um, Pro soft, that's a nice colour. Now this is unusual. Very light yellow vice. Vice breakfast ball. I've definitely never found one of these myself. And it says on there, um, vice golf's finest. Breakfast ball. I don't think I've even heard of that one. It might be slightly faded. It might have been a bit brighter in the past. I don't know. I don't know what colour that was supposed to be. And another ball, Vice, which is very dark orange on one side, light orange on the other side. So those Vice ones, and then two of the Strixon um, half ones. Now, obviously, back in the 1980s, Ping came up with the um, two colour balls, and it seems Strixon have started to make a few different colours. And this is uh, kind of red and um, yellow, that one. I've already got orange and yellow, and I think I've got blue and yellow, so I've got four different colours at least. Uh, three more to show you. 
I've got this one that kind of looks like the EU symbol to me. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be. So if you know what that is, please let me know. Uh, clubs. Is that a particular brand that's done that? Again, if you can name that. I know it's clubs, but is it anything else to that name? And this one, I think, is it the, the Wisely Golf Club that uses a swan in that logo like that? I might have already found one of those myself, but I couldn't remember, so I thought I might as well buy it. So anyway, I've just bought all those off someone and <laughs> another two box loads of logos I have still to, to go through. I uh, bought, I think it's 500 balls, so 250 per box roughly, plus these, and I'm a few hundred quid um, down. So, you know, if you can name any of these ones, please do. The ones, particularly the logo ones, the special ones, let me know. I will film these other balls separately. Um, I tend to film about 140 balls laid out. It takes me about half an hour to film each each lot as I go through and talk to them. So um, I know what I know what to do. Hold on. I'm going to pull these out. They'll just give you one brief teaser. Give you a quick teaser of what I've got. I'm not even going to turn any over. I'm just going to give you a quick... You might see something that's interesting. Anyway, these are the ones I'm going to feel like. I can see Man United. I had to point that out. So all kinds of logos are going to be on these. HBO. That's that TV company in America, I believe. So you never know what I'm going to get from this chat. Um, and one more. I'm just going to tip the other box over. Hold on. never looks like that much when you've got balls in a box but once you take them out of the box then you suddenly realize yeah actually that is quite a lot to go through and then i've got all these other ones here so in the days to come i will film these all and um those of you that are that into logos will be able to look at them and uh look at them in detail i'll turn each one over and you know pick it up show you exactly what logo it is what type of ball it's on etc etc that's what I'm going to do for all these 500 to add to my collection of, I, I honestly don't know the exact number I've got now. It must be somewhere like eight to 9,000 logos I reckon I've got. Um, so there we go. Thanks for watching. Uh, and I said, if you can help out with any of those ones, please do. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.